Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I have a Bradley from Helium 10 to show you guys a brand new way on how to find winning products to sell on Amazon FBA in less than 10 minutes. Bradley is the director of training at Helium 10. So how are you today, Bradley? I'm doing just delightful. Great to be back. Yeah, great to have you back. It's been a while since me and Bradley have a, done a product research tutorial. Um, if you guys want to check out my last YouTube video with Bradley right here, then please do so because Bradley is always dropping bombs to help you find your winning product. What do we have today, Bradley? Well, today I wanted to just show people how just in a few minutes you can find a keyword that generates uh, sales. Uh, but then at the same time, like you're, while you're actually doing your product research, how you can go and find a supplier right away and, and get a quote, you know, on something or get an idea of how much it'll cost. Cause you know, we, we can find products that make 10, 20, $30,000 all day long on Amazon, but then if we can't really make money off of the profit on it, you know, like, like, okay, how valuable is it to know that this product makes $20,000? So I'm going to show you guys a way where you can instantly find out, you know, how much money you could potentially make on this product. Awesome. And this will shave off a lot of time uh, for you guys, because um, not a lot of people are using the Alibaba extension mm -hmm. from Helium 10. So let's get started. All right. So I'm going to share my screen here. Um, and this is black box and I'm actually on the uh, keyword side. So like on the product side, we actually have a completely new, uh, you know, format here that you guys can continue to find products, but I want to show you how to find it via the keyword. And so, you know, one thing that uh, indicates demand is searches, you know, because kind of like if, if, if nobody is searching for a keyword, you know, there's not really demand for it. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and put, um, just put 6,000. There's, there's no magic number here, guys. But I'll put like a max of fifteen thousand, and then why, why don't you uh, tell me a couple of categories? I mean, would I be too presumptuous to say you might want the baby category? Uh, the baby here. category and toys and games are my two favorite. That's just me. Um, and All if right, you maybe one more from those two. We got baby toys and games. Uh, kitchen products. Kitchen, yeah. I like it. Home and kit or ki yeah. well, let's do kitchen and dining. All right, so we're gonna look for for keywords that the majority of the products that show up are from these three uh, main categories. And then uh, I'm going to skip all the way down here right now to competitor revenue. And I want to, I want to find something where there's like, let's say at least two or let's just say at least one, but max three. This is interesting. I've never done this. I'm not even sure what's going to come up here, but let me explain my reasoning here. So, if we find a keyword where the top 10 people are all doing, you know, like $20,000 a month of sales, well, that's, that's great. You know, that shows there's a lot of demand, but that means, right. You know, it's kind of saturated. Like, like these people are already be ballers. The reason why I'm picking the, the, this number here is I want at least one person making some money. Right. But I don't want too many people making money because I want some room. You know, I want some room in there. Does that make sense? Yes. You, you with me? Okay, good. Yep. Um, and then competitor reviews. Now, I'm going to say, hey, I want at least five out of these top 10 to have less than 150 reviews. Now, now, now why would you say that this is, uh, I'm doing this? Can you read my mind? Why, why do I want less than five people to have a lot of reviews? So with sellers on Amazon that have way too many reviews, again, leads back to the product being overly saturated and harder for you to come in there and make some profit because there are already so many good brands already making that dough. Yep, absolutely. So let's see, or I'm going to do one more. I'm going to say, I want this to have at least two words. And basically what that means is I don't want a one word keyword, you know, like kitchen or baby yeah. or something like that. So I was going to say at least two words. And I'm actually going to do this other new ish feature. And, and I don't think I've shown this on your channel before, but it's called title density. And so what this means is how many products on page one actually have this keyword in their title. 
And that's important because it helps you to understand how easy or difficult it's going to be to get on page one. So the reasoning behind this is like, let's say the keyword is collagen peptides. Well, if you were to look there, like 45 out of the 50 products on page one, they all have collagen peptides in their title. And that doesn't mean, oh, I'm never going to get to page one, but it's more expensive and more difficult. Now, let's say you have a, I'm just looking around my desk here. Um, you know, you, you would appreciate this, you know, Gucci wallet, right? Yeah. Like a special Gucci wallet. Well, there's probably only like two or three Gucci wallets on, on Amazon. And so there's only going to be two or three or four that actually have that in the title. That means if I'm Gucci and I'm launching a fourth one or a fifth one, I know instantly I'm probably going to be on page one because th just nobody has it in their, in, yeah. in their title. Um, do you have any Gucci wallets yourself or you're, you're more of a Louis V? Uh, I'm a Louis V, but Chanel gal. Okay. Okay. Well, I, 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 I'm not down for Chanel uh, wallets. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to stick with Gucci here. All right. So I'm going to say uh, a max of, let's just say four out of the top ones and let's go ahead and search this might be too narrow yeah no this is actually Ooh. not narrow by the way if you guys are new to selling products on amazon then i suggest you to take my free training in the youtube description below click on the free training link enter your name enter your email address and watch my amazon webinar to the very end because you may be qualified to get on a free one-on-one -on -one call with myself and my team and we will guide you through this entire amazon fba business so you can make profit by selling winning products on amazon now getting go ahead wow baby oh. blocks or baby shower that that's pretty good. cool keyword that is good. I'm, I'm actually going to search. I'm, I'm going to just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a few of these up in another tab here as we see stuff that are um, interesting. Um, I, I don't want, you know, I don't want to do, what, what, why wouldn't I want to look at something that says Fortnite in it? Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> Great. All right. So this is important. I don't know of a lot of things on here. So Fortnite, that's actually a game, right? And so oh, okay. since it's a game, it's like a trademark word. And and that's, you know, you right. brought up something very important. I don't know every single trademark word there is out there or, or every game or every toy or anything. So don't just look at this and say, hey, this is an amazing opportunity. You need to take that. Don't assume that you guys know if something's trademarked or not. You should look into it. You know, if I just look, if Tamara just looked at this, she'd be like, oh, I'm going to make a million dollars off Fortnite. And then she gets a trademark suspension because she's infringing because she didn't know that this was a, a game that people yeah. waste all their time on. But it's very important. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, sunflower plates. That's interesting. That's interesting. I've never, never seen or heard of them. Yep. No idea what that is. So let's look up cow print water bottle. Like that's pretty unique sounding. Um, Ooh, that's trending now. It's trending on TikTok, cow products. Oh, really? Yeah, it's trending. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right. Um, Disney, I, I'm going to skip here to like this page. Like maybe just one more here that looks, oh my goodness gracious. I, I, I wouldn't sell this on Amazon, but look how many people. There are 7,000 people a month who are searching for ant farms with live ants and a queen. Oh my goodness. Um. Pokemon, the, see, now you, you know yeah. that Pokemon's Stay a away. trademark word. Okay, there we go. Uh, weighted anxiety stuffed animal. What is that? Interesting, right? Yeah. Let's take a look at that one. And just trying to see. Obviously, Stranger Things is trademarked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe just one more. And you stop me, too, if you see anything sure. um, interesting here, too. <laughs> gift baskets baskets okay. empty interesting uh, uh soft condo. oh there we go that's what the heck is uh, that i i i kind of you know we need to keep things pg in your channel yeah. but I, I kind of been, can picture what that what that is um let's Not see actually. superman a lot of stuff here i mean the, the, uh, oh coffee jar coffee that's jar different. let's let's take a look yeah. at that i mean it's that's it's different. like you would think that that is going to be completely saturated, but you never know. All right, so yeah. now let's take a look at these. So baby blocks for baby shower. Okay, so I see what this is. Ooh. This is, you see, this is good. You see, in my mind, I was thinking baby blocks is something for like, you know, kids, 
play with, right? But no, yeah. this is like the bigger one, it looks like. Did you have this at your baby shower? I did. It's for decor. For those of you who don't know, it's more for like the gender reveal. It's really popular now. It's kind of trending as well. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's just something I want to show people um, that, that's kind of newish with the Helium 10 Chrome Extension. Do you see something new that maybe you haven't seen before in the Chrome Extension show up in these in these little widgets here? Let's see if your eagle eye can... Yeah, and you... so... I Go do ahead. notice that there's like a little country flag there now. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly the new feature here. And so basically this is looking at the, the seller for it. Uh, you know, now, by the way, guys, here, here's a pro tip for all you Amazon sellers out there. Whatever you registered uh, your company on Amazon, uh, like let's say you just used your house address, any customer can see that address now. So, so just make sure that you register. If you don't want people knowing where you live, make sure you put like a PO box or, or like a mailbox, et cetera, address or like your company address or something like that. But the fact that all of these are, are sellers from China, this doesn't mean good or bad. It means different things to different people. Like some people say, I don't want to compete with a bunch of sellers from China because maybe they're the factory and they can have the, the lowest prices. On the other hand, some people might say, you know what? I like competing with a whole bunch of sellers that are not from the United States. Like if I'm selling the United States, because maybe their listing is not going to be as optimized since, since their English might not be as good as somebody or vice versa. Like if yeah. you're selling to Amazon France, maybe you would love to compete with a, a, a keyword where everybody's from America and they can't speak French. So their French probably sucks or something. What about you? Like, which way are you like? Do you not want to compete with a bunch of Chinese sellers or you do or you do want to? Honestly, for me, it doesn't matter because I'm such like mm -hmm. I'm so analytical in terms of the numbers instead and keywords and like differentiation that I don't really care. I think yep. people, um, the newbie sellers tend to overthink this part. So you guys don't overthink it. It really doesn't matter that much at all. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So me me personally, I, I don't care. Yep. Like I. I, I like looking at it just to have an idea, Yeah. but it's not going to like be a, a game changer for exactly. me, whether it's all one country or not. Exactly. So I'm in the same boat as you, but th this is what I like about this. I mean, this is a keyword. Let me, let me just take a look. All right. I actually I don't have it here uh, up anymore, but this is something that was searched for, um, you know, a number of times. Like I think we had put a minimum of 6,000 Yeah. And, and, and here is page one, position three. So this is like on the top of the page and They've only got eleven reviews, you know. So, so it shows that hey, the, the, there's listings that can get some some traction here. Let's look at the sunflower plates one. Okay, I, I see what this is. All right, um, just it just sounds like what it says. It is like paper plates that have a sunflower like yeah. a print on it. That's some of them are are like actual plates though. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, but look at this. Look, look at page one, position two, page one, position three. Eighteen reviews, three reviews. Really simple. Uh. That these are brand new products and they're already on page one. Uh, here's that one that you were talking about. Yes. So this is trending. Cow and stuff. The strangest things yeah. uh, trend, I yeah. swear. Um, but again, look, look at this. On the very top of page one, not even one person has over a thousand reviews. So that's that's promising. All right. So I'm, I just want to look at all these and then you're gonna pick which one we're gonna we're gonna dive into the next uh, the next stage. Um. <laughs> okay, I see what this is. Weighted, uh, weighted plush. It looks like some of these are called. This looks a little more saturated than we want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got this one right here is like eight thousand reviews, yeah. but that's interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing, and and that's important that you guys, you know, I didn't know. Uh, you know, Tamara knew, knew that cow print water bottles was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing. Don't like just say, oh, I don't know what this is, so I don't want to sell it. Yeah. A lot of times the thing that you're going to sell, guys, is something maybe you didn't even know existed before you exactly. found it. And then, oh, you see, I, I thought this was a coffee jar, like you put actual coffee. This is to put the coffee grounds. Okay. Into. Interesting. Hmm. All right. So which one of these do you want to dive into further? Baby blocks. Baby blocks, sunflower, cow print, weighted anxiety, and coffee jar. Baby blocks. Baby. baby blocks. Let's go to baby blocks. All right. All right. So. One thing is I want to know like what are some of the main keywords that are driving the sales? So guys, here's a brand new feature of Helium 10. It's called X-ray keywords. If you hit X-ray keywords, it's going to show me some of the keywords that are driving the sales for these products that are on page one, because not all of their sales are coming from baby blocks 
or baby shower, whatever we, we had searched here. So take a look at, uh, at some of these, you know, L look at this one, gender reveal, decorations, baby shower decorations. So these are more generic keywords, mm -hmm. but just like you told me, these are, I think you actually said that, right? This is decorations for a baby shower. Yeah. So uh, it makes, it makes sense that these are top keywords. Um, baby boxes with letters for baby shower. Oh, I, I love that keyword because it's so long. Like if somebody's actually typing that whole thing out to me, that's a buyer who knows exactly yeah. what they want. Now, if I'm typing balloon or baby shower, uh, I could be searching for any random thing. Like what were some main things that you had at your baby shower, like for decoration other than these blocks? Um, I had the blocks, I had the balloons. Oh, I had, I had different color ribbons. So I had like baby shower okay. ribbons in different color. Did you organize your own baby shower or or did somebody else uh, help you with it? I did. Okay. So yeah. you probably did something like it. You probably did an initial search then of maybe just a generic thing like baby shower or baby shower yes. ideas. Like, do you remember what you yeah. did there? Baby shower decor, oh. super generic. And I wasn't Perfect. really, I wasn't really in like the buying mode. Yeah. Um, but when it was like baby shower block letters it's like well i know exactly what i want and when customers search that you guys they're more likely to buy yeah and, and th what she said guys is so important you know the not that these are bad keywords like baby shower decor if you can get ranked for that you know that's probably like a hundred thousand search volume or gender re reveal decorations but these don't always have the most what, what i call buyer intent all right buyer intent um and and that's that's what's important here all right so but a, a keyword like baby boxes with letters for baby shower that has a lot of buyer intent like mm -hmm. like like if you had searched that you probably would have made a purchase if you found something that you you wanted yeah. right okay so now i see all these other keywords so like maybe i'm like you know what um this 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 is like probably the the product i want like what in the world you know, a uh, price would I pay? I'm looking here at the retail prices. I see twenty dollars. I see fifteen. I see a bunch of around twenty, seventeen, twenty-seven. So, so we can kind of have a general idea mm -hmm. of the uh, price here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run the uh, X-ray Chrome extension, and show you guys how to use the Alibaba uh, supplier finder for this. All right. So here's that search volume. There's 9,000 people searching for it. I'm going to hit find suppliers on Alibaba. And here we go. And I'm seeing the exact same products here. So like this is obviously this the same keywords on Amazon. It's the same keywords on Alibaba. And then look, look at this. I can, I can see some that are $4. Uh, I see $1 to $4. I see $3, $3. Um, a bunch that are three dollars. So, so that seems to be the the generic price here, about two to three dollars. Yeah. So I, I can actually go here, and you know, if I wanted to, I, I could just like go directly to their Alibaba listing, and and boom, I'm already on there. But before I do that, what I want to do is I, I want to make sure that hey, I can make you know some money. Like yep. like here are some people. Like here is one person that is doing thirty one thousand dollars a month of these baby shower boxes. All right. So I'm going to go to their actual listing here. And um, first of all, this is not even a compliant image. Their, their main image is not <laughs> on the white background here. So these guys already don't know what they're doing. But I'm going to run the profitability calculator here. And then I'm going to say, all right, so this is $20. But if my price, what, what, what did we say? Uh, three bucks. Three bucks. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put three bucks on here. Um, and then let's just say... How much do you like for your tacos or your total a cost? Like, do you want like 10% of what you sell to go to average, like to spend on advertising or what, what, what's your general rule of thumb? 10 to 15%, no more than 15%. Okay. So yeah. let's go ahead and just throw, let's say, let's say 12, let's do a number yeah. between those two. So if, if I say, Hey, 12% of whatever I sell, you know, I'm going to have to dedicate that to uh, advertising. Yeah. Um, you know, there might be other fees I need to check in, like who knows what the what the shipping price is right now. But look, but look at this. You know, like if I actually did it at this price, I'd still be doing like thirty percent if my my product was the same size box. So obviously, I would need to take a little bit more time, guys, to to mm -hmm. to make sure the dimensions is the same and stuff like that. But I explained this in like fifteen minutes because I was going slow here. But I literally could have done that in five minutes. You know, if if I already knew, you know, from where to go. But we found something that you could potentially make 20, 30% profit on 
and this person's doing over thirty thousand dollars a month on Amazon, and it's that easy, guys, to to find this opportunity. Awesome. So just so you guys know, uh, I believe Bradley has the uh, full package using Helium 10. So he can do anything using Helium 10. If you guys want to try out Helium 10, then please take advantage of my 50% off discount code right here that you see on the screen. Uh, because if you are not on Helium 10, I promise you, you cannot do product research. You cannot run your business. And it's just not fun. Thank you, Bradley, so much for your time today. Thank you for ha having me. It's always a pleasure to come on here. If you guys have any questions for me or Bradley, then please drop it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. And please give this video a huge thumbs up.